Let me ask you about, if I may, with, with, was mixed race ever an issue for you then growing up? Because I, I, I read somewhere that you said that in Ireland I it wasn't. I dread when you say I read no, somewhere that you No, said. actually, no, no because you, you hate that. You hate that. Okay. <laughs> well, what, what, I heard, what I read was that, and what struck me was that in Ireland it wasn't an issue, and it, in fact it only became an issue when you went to the UK. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I probably I said that was very, was very broadly speaking. Um, I didn't feel it in Ireland at all, no, because I felt like um, I had a very large family and I was very, felt very um, adored and loved and protected. Um, but maybe it has something to do with there wasn't very many black people around. So maybe I was sort of, there was this sort of exoticism there. I don't know. And then you, I moved to London and that, you know, I was black and Irish. So there was two things that mm. made me very different and outsider. Yeah. And I remember... I remember someone laughing at the way I said a word and was 30. And I was so shocked that you could do that in front of other people. You mock somebody for yeah. a soft Irish tea? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what it was? Mm, I think so, but, yeah. you know. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, and, you know, but the, I mean, this, that's my story. I, don't, I would hate to speak for other people. Yeah. Um, you know, and maybe it's, diff it's different now. I mean, this is 30 years ago. Things have changed.